Hey guys, it's Barn Geek here again up at the uh, off-grid property and I wanted to talk to you guys today off about a little bit about how we got this piece of property um, and actually how we got our first piece of property too is the same way. Um, it's a really good way to buy a property with not too much out of pocket and without having to go to the bank. So stay tuned and uh, we will get into that. All right, guys, um, depending on where you live, uh, you may be familiar with the term land contract. That's that's the way we bought both of our homesteading properties. This is our our kind of a off-grid vacation kind of property hunting property and then we've got our property that are you know that our day-to-day -day homestead is on that you see most in most of the videos um that property we'll start with that one my first property i bought when i in 1997 when i was uh 18 21 years old 21 years old i bought that piece of property i put uh I think I put two thousand dollars down or twenty five hundred bucks. But the way we started, it was a neighbor, and I just got to know him real well. And I kept asking him, I kept after him. I said, because uh, I wanted the the property I wanted to buy since I was ten. Um, had a nice little creek on it, and I just, you know, when I was ten years old, I said, I want to live here. Um, so I set that as a goal, and by the and. 11 years later, I owned that property. So go after your goals. Um, I'd encourage you to do that because if you set a goal and you go for it, you can, you can do it. Um, you know, sometimes you fail, but you just, all you got to do is pick yourself up and, and get back on the horse, as they say, and, and keep trying. But, uh, but long story short, we, we built our house, um, you know, we financed the house and uh, got the old regular old mortgage, and uh, which I would rather have not done. But that's another story we won't get into right now. Um, it has to deal with local authorities not wanting me to build as I go and camp on the property. But anyway, <laughs> that's long in the past. We'll tell you that story in another video. But uh, uh, so. We're still paying on that property, you know, got the mortgage on it, um, and then uh, built a house. Uh, and then, just a couple years ago, we found this piece of property. I was just browsing stuff on the internet, looking at land, you know, kind of dreaming. And I saw this one, and the price was right, and uh, it was a decent-sized property for a decent price. Um, it was less than less than 2000 an acre. It was right around the $1,500 an acre price range, um, and it was 100% wooded, so it was perfect for hunting. You know, I could do whatever I want here. Most of it was dry, but it still had water, and, uh, um, but anyway, I called the lady up. It didn't say anything about land contract terms or seller financing. It just said cash conventional, just like most of the listings that you find on the internet, but that doesn't mean... We have a pterodactyl, apparently. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it sounds like a pterodactyl. But anyway, um, and uh, so we, so I called, I called on it, and it was a realtor that owned it, and she had, uh, um, she had inherited it from her parents. And it was property that, you know, they went up to here, they came up here once a year to cut a Christmas tree down. And I said, well, you know, uh, would you take a land contract? Would you consider a land contract on it? And she said, yeah, yeah, I think I would. And so, you know, long story short, we put in an offer. We put 3500 bucks down. We got an incredibly low interest rate so that our payment was low. She worked with us a great deal. And, um, you know, a couple weeks later, we came, we went down to her office and 
Detroit. We signed the uh, signed the purchase agreement and the the land contract and uh, put our money down and and we 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 were the proud owners of a, a, a piece of property in the north part of Michigan. So, um, and really, you know, has been my second dream is having this this uh, having a vacation property or bug out property but it's not really a bug out it's uh, uh, off grid we're gonna do an off grid project here and uh, but yeah um, land contract is a really good way to go guys and if you if you um, if you're looking at a piece of property and you're afraid to call on it because you know you don't know if they'll take a land contract or if they'll um, or if they won't that must be, I wonder if that's a dog man <laughs> that is a freaky sounding bird but anyway um, you never know give them a call uh, ask them it's it is uh, you know a lot of people will, will work with you even if they only finance it for a year two years you know that might give you enough time to get build some equity in the property to where you can go to a bank and say hey look you know I've owned this property on land contract I've been paying payments uh, here's my payment history from the owner that, that I bought it from, and uh, I'd like to finance it so I can, you know, build a house on it or, you know, whatever you want to do. Or you could just just pay it out on the land contract, which is what we're going to do here because the interest rate is very competitive with modern with with uh, regular mortgage rates, which is just fantastic for a land contract. Usually the interest rate's a lot higher on those. So, but anyway, guys. Uh, you never know, you know. Find out if if they'll take a land contract. If they will, fantastic, you know. Um, if they won't, you know, move on to the next one. There are so many properties out there. Um, you don't have to sit there and, and 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 not not move forward with your dreams. If you're dreaming about doing a homestead. Um, living off grid or, or or just doing a farm so you can grow your own food you know go after it you know you, you can it's not as hard as you think just put it that way it, and if I can do it so can you and uh, I'm, I'm nothing special <laughs> so um, just all you got to do is ask if you ask people a lot of times they'll they'll they'll, they'll work with you you know because they want to sell it Anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, there'll be a lot more coming. There'll be a lot more about the off-grid property here, and we've got a lot of projects coming up with that. Uh, mash the like, you know, hit the thumbs up, and then uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. And have a great day. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.